creepers. What a beautiful morning. It's gonna be another hot one, triple digit style. But we're gonna do a little creeping to a place that a lot of folks would go to in the summertime. It's gonna be a good one. Stay tuned. Creepers! Good morning to you crazy creeps. Afternoon or evening, whenever you're creeping with, we are here currently on the Springwater Corridor, heading into Southeast Portland. It's National Water Park Day, and at one point, Portland, Oregon, right here, had a mall slash water park inside. Well, it's kind of an open air mall. So indoor, outdoor water park, the hydro tubes. If you guys remember those, you're definitely gonna to wanna to stay tuned. And if you haven't, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this one. National Water Park Day, hydro tube style. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. So we are here, Eastport Plaza right here, off the of 82nd. Southeast Portland open October 27th of 1960 has definitely changed a lot over the years But at one point on the roof was the hydro tubes today being National Water Park Day Kind of wanted to come out here give you guys a brief rundown of the history of Eastport Plaza and talk about the hydro tubes That's right an indoor well kind of indoor outdoor water park that would have sat right here at the old Eastport Plaza. We're gonna go check out what it looks like now and give you guys a little rundown of the, the hydro tubes. Like I said, this was once kind of an open aired covered mall. It's definitely changed a lot since then. Since the 60s, a lot of stores come to go. JC Penney's, Lipman's, just a ton throughout the years. Folks would love to come here and kind of walk the open aired mall. It was enclosed, but it was also um, not fully covered. So it was kind of an, considered an open air mall, which is kind of rare to see these days. And right about in this area, ref, you know, roughly give or take a couple hundred feet or so, would have sat the hydro tubes. Now, the hydro tubes were a water park consistent of two big tubes that would basically come down you would start at the bottom of the you know the bottom of the structure and work your way up a set of stairs to the top and the tubes would have been basically pretty high up off the roof to get to the top which would have led to pretty much longer lines than they would have expected and a lot of folks came here on the weekends to visit the tubes and also eat at the little restaurant that was just adjacent to where the tube sat and like i said this whole structure has changed considerably since then but you would have been able to kind of walk through the mall and from what i saw online and kind of vaguely remember i came here one time and it was probably like 1987 or 88 and you could actually stand and kind of look into the water park there was kind of like you know this is a glass window here but you would have been able to kind of stand here and see the folks coming down the tubes and it made it very intriguing for others that you know would want to come and enjoy the park or even try out the slides themselves they could kind of wait at the bottom and see the folks you know coming down the slide which prompted a couple more locations i believe there was one in beaverton as well uh, but the hydro tubes were here and opening September 21st of 1982. So at the time I was only two years old, I vaguely, vaguely remember it. But I do remember coming here on that hot day to enjoy the tubes and was actually more intrigued with, you know, the other people riding them. It was always fun to kind of see the reaction coming through the tubes. And unfortunately the tubes didn't last long. They uh, had a lot of accidents and a lot of controversy and this one actually ended up closing i think after about three or four years of you know officially being open now i could be wrong if you guys do remember where it sat make sure you guys chime in i was thinking it was kind of you know in this area kind of behind me here but it could have sat over in this side as well like i said it's been you know 30 years 
if not more, since I've actually come out here. But Eastport Plaza was definitely like one of the most sought after malls here in Portland. And then with Clackamas Town Center opening up years later, kind of was the demise. And actually after JC Penney's decided to move to Lloyd Center, it really was kind of the ultimate demise. But the demise of the tubes was because a child was actually struck and I think he chipped his teeth or had some sort of accident where they were sued and they were just kind of tired of having to deal with you know all the settlements and lawsuits that would come from injuries but like I said those tubes would have been up on the roof and I'm guessing it was probably if I remember correctly it was on this side so if you guys do remember coming here or you do you did come here yourself make sure you guys chime in and let me know but it being national water park day it's going to be super hot and i know a lot of folks enjoy the water parks and having this one this close to you know the residential areas and stuff was pretty darn cool at the time kind of futuristic and the hydro tubes did a lot of promotional work with fellow independent you know stores albertson's and a couple other places you could you know buy the little coupon or get the little coupons and you know save yourself some loot and they also did a lot of promotional work with different organizations around town but that would have been it right about here is where those tubes would have sat this izzy's pizza is still out of business as well we actually toured here about a year ago did a full vlog about izzy's and I also found some old-timey pictures way before that big Eastport Plaza sign that you guys saw at the beginning was kind of adjacent to the street corner. You would have seen, I believe right around in this area right here, um, you would have seen kind of the groundbreaking pictures. And I actually found some online of some folks kind of basically taking the shovels and getting ready to open up Eastport Plaza. All the way back then. On a hot day like today too, those tubes would have been perfect. That's gonna do it from Eastport Plaza. I'd have to say today would definitely have been a good day to ride the tubes. And if you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That'll dial in to being a creeper today. You can also ring that bell that way when we do creep you guys will be the first to creep from eastport plaza love you guys creeper out for now peace recently just fixed this up a little bit too it was in shambles but the original sign there I believe from the 60s kind of that googie style all these years later still hanging <laughs>